Hi, I'm Dave Moran. I'm the co-author of the Visual Histology DVD series. This film clip is to give you a brief introduction to what one of the individual DVDs is like. Now we're going to give you a chance to test your newfound knowledge of the histology of bone. We're giving you a practical exam and it will take the following format. You'll see an image on the screen. A particular structure will be indicated by the arrow. We will ask you what it is and give you 10 seconds to write down your answer. At the end of 10 seconds, we'll answer the question and you can see how you're doing. 10 seconds isn't an awfully long time to answer a question, so feel free to stop if you need more time. All set to go? Here's question number one. Name the structure that the arrow points to on this slide. If you said it is a lacuna, you're right. The arrow points to a lacuna, which is the space occupied by an osteocyte. Question number two. What is the name of the structure indicated by the arrow here? And the answer is a haversion canal. The arrow points to an aversion canal, which is at the center of the haversion system. Question number three, what is the structure the arrow is pointing to here? And the answer is an osteocyte process. The arrow is pointing to an osteocyte process, which is a thin cytoplasmic extension that extends from the osteocyte and passes through a small channel called a canaliculus. Question number four, what is the thin dark line the arrow is pointing to here? And the answer is a canaliculus. That thin dark line is a canaliculus, which is a channel through the bone through which the osteocyte process passes. Question number five, what is the area indicated by the arrow here? And the answer is the periosteum. The arrow is in the region of the periosteum, which is the connective tissue layer that immediately surrounds bone. Question number six, what is the thin pale line that the arrow points to here? And the answer is osteoid. The arrow is pointing to a thin white layer of osteoid, which is unmineralized bone matrix that has just been deposited by osteoblasts. Question number seven, what kind of cell is the arrow pointing to here? And the answer is an osteocyte. The arrow is pointing to an osteocyte, which is in a lacuna in a region of compact bone. Number eight, what kind of cell is the arrow pointing to here? The arrow is pointing to an osteoblast. The osteoblasts here line the inner margin of the periosteum and sit directly on top of newly formed bone matrix. Question number nine, what region is the arrow pointing to here? The arrow is pointing to the zone of hypertrophic cartilage, which is in the epiphyseal plate. And the last question, number 10, what kind of cell is the arrow pointing to here? If you said osteoclast or chondroclast, you are right. The arrow is pointing to a large multinucleate eosinophilic 
phagocytic cell that eats its way through cartilage or bone. Well, if you got 100% on the exam, congratulations. It shows your learning histology. We'll see you on the